Hey guys, it's Adam with Fraser. It's June 2020, and I think it's safe to say we're living in the new normal. I don't think anybody is gonna argue that we're gonna return to life as it was back in January or February of 2020. We have had to adapt, improvise, and overcome. It's what you as first responders do best, and we've had to take a page out of your playbook. So what we've done is we've developed our IDU, Infectious Disease Unit. So it's not like we've had to go and redesign the wheel here, and that's something that I'm very proud to say. Many of the features on this vehicle are things that we've been doing standard for over 10 years. And we're gonna highlight some of those and some additional features that you can add onto this vehicle to make it safe for you, your medics, and your citizens in times like this. Be sure you visit our website and subscribe to receive more videos like this, customer delivery walk around videos, customer testimonials, lots of cool stuff. Now let's get back to this video. So the Fraser Infectious Disease Unit is offered on our type one chassis platforms in our 12 and our 14 foot unit. The reason why we can only do it on our type one is because of our isolation of the clean driver's cab from the potentially dirty or infected uh, patient compartment. Uh, so what you can see here is our sliding window that's sealed top, bottom, and side. So when this is closed, this is actually an airtight, watertight seal all the way around. So now we've effectively isolated or sealed off the driver's cab from the patient compartment. So that's very important. That's, that's the, the first step in, in this vehicle. So now we're going to go back into the patient compartment and show you some features back there. Okay, so now we're inside the patient compartment. Like I mentioned outside, something I'm proud of is that we have not had to completely rede redesign the wheel here to make an infectious disease unit. For years, we've had in mind a safe, clean, cold, and easy to decontaminate environment back here. We've always, that's always been uh, front of mind or forefront when we've been designing. So a couple standard features that are uh, available on every Fraser unit without question is our aluminum cabinetry. So we've been doing aluminum cabinetry for many years, 15, 20 plus years. Easy to decon, there's no wood anywhere inside the unit. We don't even offer any kind of wood options. So with the flooring as well, we got rid of flooring 12 years ago in 2008. We took out the wood subflooring and we're using a, a composite subfloor. So again, no wood, um, easy to decon, easy to clean. The walls, upper walls, the lower walls, the countertops, easy to decon, bright, clean. You can simply wipe them down with your cleaners. Uh, these are all standard features that you don't have to ask for. It just comes with every unit. So now we're gonna talk about a few features that make up the IDU. So now that we've slid the window closed and we've isolated the clean driver's cab from the dirty patient compartment, we wanna create a negative pressure back here. And the way we're gonna do that is with our exhaust ventilation fan. So when that window's closed, that ventilation fan is on pulling air out from inside out into the atmosphere, we're creating a negative pressure. What we're trying to do is we're trying to prevent any air from potentially escaping up into that clean driver's cab. We we'll want to pull this air out and exhaust it out in the open atmosphere. That's a standard feature on every Fraser unit. Uh, and anytime you do a remount and you upgrade your air conditioner, that's gonna come with this new air conditioner system. So our air conditioner system comes standard with the blue ultraviolet light, which you can see in, in the vent up here. So that's been standard on our air conditioners for six years. Uh, and anytime you upgrade an older remount, put a new air conditioner in it, that ultraviolet light is gonna come in there as well. So that's a, a UVC air decontamination. All the air inside the patient compartment is circulating into this return air. Behind here, there's a uh, particulate filter catching any bigger particles. And then it's passing through that ultraviolet light where um, that's, that's being destroyed by, by the light. Uh, so another feature that we add on to make an IDU, an IDU is these yellow grab rails. So anytime you see the yellow grab rails inside a Fraser unit, these have an antimicrobial agent actually built into the powder coating. Uh, we order them specifically uh, that way. Another, uh, an air decontamination, or I'm sorry, a surface and air decontamination option is either the ultraviolet light system. So this is UVC light. There's a UVC bulb in here. Uh, you, you empty this area out, 
close the doors, there's a switch in an outside compartment that the medic will, will activate and it'll turn this light on, which will stay on for, you can set a timer, but typically 20, 30 minutes, something like that to, to decon the surface area back here. Uh, if UVC light is not the option or not the route that you wanna go, there's also um, a aerosol option. So uh, we partnered with Aeroclave uh, Aeroclave makes uh, a couple different systems, but they all utilize a hydrogen peroxide based solution that then gets uh, aerosoled or misted back here for a period of time, decontaminating the, the surface area inside the patient compartment. Uh, now another thing that we're proud of is our cushions. So our cushions, uh, one are magnetized, so it's easy to clean and decon underneath the cushion, that surface area, but you notice that they're seamless. So again, that's uh, easy to, to wipe down uh, and decontaminate of any kind of dirtiness. Easy to put back in place. So there's a couple more options that are available for add-on to the stretcher for a patient enclosure. Uh, one is, is made by Technomount. We partner with Technomount, and we've talked about that in other videos. So they've come out with a product called TechnoShield. Uh, essentially, it's a plastic shield that goes over the patient's head. It's open at the top and bottom, so you still have access to your patient. Um, and that's creating almost like a face shield, the same style face shield that you, you wear as the medic. This is now creating a face shield over your patient. Uh, Stryker EMS Inferno also both offer solutions. Um, so they're more like the disposable uh, plastic uh, bubble type enclosure that would go over the patient's head and the upper part of their to torso to enclose them. Um, so any of those solutions are available uh, for purchase with the vehicle or do you want to purchase those products from us for existing vehicles in your fleet, those are available as well. Um, if you've liked what you've seen here in, in this, this unit and you want to learn more about the Fraser IDU, we have developed a web page uh, at FraserBuilt.com specifically uh, talking about our IDU. Uh, there's a contact us button right there on that page. You can get in touch with us uh, from that page or you can reach us at sales at FraserBuilt.com. You can reach us by phone at 888-372-9371. We hope to hear from you. Uh, this is a very relevant, uh, timely topic right now. I know a lot of people are talking about uh, infectious disease unit. So uh, please reach out. We'd love to, to talk to you and, and learn what your department is doing or what we can do to help you uh, during this time. Thank you.